So after many, many delays and many years of development, we get a game that's been in the works since 2013 and was originally meant to be a Black Flag expansion, which then turned into a spin-off called Black Flag Infinite, and finally ended up being the game we've got right now, Skull and Bones. It's an online pirate game focused on building your ship, becoming a pirate kingpin, and engaging in naval combat. Unfortunately though, it's got no on foot combat, which I was incredibly disappointed to find out. Today, however, I'm going to attempt the Platinum Trophy and figure out if it was really worth the wait. Since the game's quite open and kind of just lets you do things however you want, there's no real story or story trophies. You get contracts from main characters, but they aren't really anything special and only really serve to guide you along. So I'm going to take this on in two steps. Step one, explore the seas as much as possible while upgrading my ship. And step two, the two grindy trophies, 1 million meters traveled and 10,000 duped harvested. Before we begin though, thank you to Ubisoft for the game code. And with that said, let's take on all 51 trophies in Skull and Bones. All right, here we are. We are in the seas. We've got my character. I played about an hour or two of the beta. Seems like my character carried over into the full game. I was going to just start fresh if it let me, but I don't think it, it lets you. I think because it's an online only game, it's, it's kind of one of those where it just puts you back where you were. Hopefully I don't have any issues with trophies because it's carried over, but I guess we'll we'll see soon enough. We're in the seas. I've got my first little ship, which is absolutely terrible. It's tiny. It's horrible. And I've got my two crewmates, so of course we're going to continue through and hopefully get some more crewmates and over time get uh, an even bigger ship. Freaking giant hippo. Nice. We're eating good tonight. Some hippo for lunch. We then encounter our first online player. Whoa! Yo, is that another player trying to kill me? Bro, what the hell did I do to you? Oh god, I think he's turning around. We need to go. Did he turn? I, th I thought he was turning around, but I think we're okay. Right, well, that was our first mini encounter, I guess, with another player. The first guy I see tries to freaking shoot at me. Luckily, he wasn't the best shot ever, so he came out unscathed at this time. <laughs> Shortly after, I get a nice little surprise. Uh oh. Looks like I'm dead. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, that's my first trophy. Mainland Pirate Reach St. Anne. Your cargo will be jettisoned at sea when you are defeated. Return to where you were sunk to recover it before it is claimed by other pirates. This location is marked on your map. Be careful though. If you are sunk again before retrieving your cargo, it will be lost forever. Well, let's go get my ass over there then. Nice. On track complete. Tools of the trade. See where the ship. Craft my first ship to begin. Let's build one. Craft new item. Right, so... Yeah, I think this is the first ship I'm going to get. Yeah, because I guess right now we're not even on a ship. How we're on a tiny little boat thing. Craft. Got the materials. There we go. And another trophy as well. Ship. Captain, build your first ship. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's, uh... It's officially starting now. We're becoming, uh, we're going to become a true pirate now. See if we can do some customizations to it as well. Let's see how deep the customization goes. So it wants us to craft cannons and ammunition for our first ship. I need to craft this. Oh, I've already got the stuff to be able to craft it. Nice. Craft our first cannon. We might actually be able to do some damage now. Here we go, boys. You make that cannon for me. Hell yeah. Nice. At least we got something a bit better to defend ourselves with now. Assuming my ship's big enough to even equip it. Oh, I need to craft three of them. I've only crafted one. So that's another one crafted. 
So now we need cannonballs. Oh, okay, they're not really that expensive. Contains 100 cannonballs that can be used. Right, well, let's do that. We'll buy two. Do any cooking? Oh, I can cook some stuff. They restore stamina. I'll keep that in mind that we can do a little bit of cooking every now and again as well. So that'll be good for if we go on like longer hauls or if there's like bosses or something. Getting these uh, restore stamina ones might be useful for those kinds of things. A little bit more interesting, I guess, than what it does right now. I do like the mask I bought from the beta though, but obviously the rest of my clothes are a little bit uh, crappy looking. So let's go change up a little bit, shall we? I think we do it from this location. Yeah, here we are. So we've got some new gear. We've got a cool little uh, pirate hat. I'll equip that. Why not? What else we got? So we got the mask that I bought from the beta. We've got this. Bell gloves. A couple of rings. Don't mind if I do. There we go. We've got a bunch of new gear. Wait, my character already looks like a pirate. You can access the ship menu from anywhere in the den. Use and manage your ship menu. As you equip weapons, furniture, and cosmetic. Don't forget to equip your cannons before setting sail. Okay, so let's equip those cannons. Change ship. Right, so we've already got the ship selected. So we were using that little puny thing. Now we've got this big thing. So yeah, massive, massive upgrade for the ship. Let's manage ship. Yeah, so weapons. We can put the three and put cannons on. So we're going to put some cannons on the front, left, and the right. So now we've got nine cannons all together, it looks like, on the ship. Uh, we can put hull armor, but we've unlocked none. We've got furniture. We can put two pieces of furniture. So we can put whatever that is, rope locker, ship cosmetics as well. Don't forget to customize the look of your ship, crew outfit, and pet by selecting cosmetics. Use to customize the look. Change a lot of different things. The sails. So we've got the Ashen Corsair set. Go with this one. That'll pretty cool. Put those up there. That's crazy. Got a freaking skeleton on the front. Change the colors. So obviously that's the default color. Put that on it. Change the color of the sails. That's a big customization. Not owned. Unlocked by complete in the Bloody Bones legacy. So this one, if I remember right. So we get a pet monkey, which is pretty freaking cool. All right, let's set sail. Time to go take out our first set of enemies, I think, for the mission. So now look at our ship. Wow. Such a big difference. We went from that little puny thing, whatever the hell you want to call that little thing, that little raft, to this. Let's set sail. All right, we need to take these guys out. Ooh, crew boarding. Oh, boarding. Here we go. Board it. Oh, boarding complete. Oh, did we not actually get to do it ourselves? Oh, that would have been so much. Oh, there's a trophy, though. Go overboard. Finish an enemy with a crew boarding. Oh, that's a shame, though. That would have been so much cooler if we, like, actually boarded the ship and was able to, like, fight, like, in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That would, would have been way cooler. It's another trophy for us. Hopefully, at some point, we do get some kind of, like, combat. I feel like it's a missed opportunity if there's no, no combat whatsoever. Maybe in an update or something if there isn't any right now. Who knows? Oh, I think we leveled up as well. From Scoundrel. Yep, now we're over. Like we got bounties available now. We got missions at the job board. We got bounties. We've got another main mission. Head honcho at the office. All right, let's roll. Ooh, trophy. Just business. Meet John Skurlock. Oh, nice meeting you, mate. Ooh, another trophy. Turtle up. So that was for equipping my first set of armor on my ship. Next, I successfully plundered a location in stormy weather for the water party trophy. Honestly, the weather didn't look stormy at all, so I'm not really too sure why it unlocked, but I'm not going to complain. Shortly after, I discovered a new area. This is one of many of these types of trophies. Oh, trophy. Home of sea people. What's that one for? Spyglass or interact with the Tanina town. I might get a trophy here for, uh, I think there was one for, yeah, lighting three of these bonfires. The Explorer. 
Oh, another trophy. People's person. Talk to 20 interactable NPCs. Oh, this is where my treasure is. Where's your found? Contract complete. Level up as well. Fucking here. Ooh, another trophy. It's more fun together. Complete five shared contracts. So I think that's just simply completing contracts when you're in a uh, party with another player. You see there on the bottom left, I'm in a, a party with uh, Funky Monkey. So I think that's what that one was for. Ooh, another trophy. Just for fun. Defeat an enemy and leave the zone without looting. I don't know how I got that one. Oh, and another one. Pirates assemble. Group up with two other players during gameplay. Oh, there's an extra player in the party. Oh, cool. That's two more trophies for me. Ooh, a trophy. When we raid, it pours. Loot a total of 50,000 silver of item value from enemy ships. What the hell is that? that what the frick? I have to kill that? What the hell? Okay, um... Let's just give it a go, shall we? I don't know. Oh, sh Wait, how the hell did it get behind me? Holy crap. Alright, this is gonna be a fight. Bro, this isn't gonna go well. What the hell was that damage, bro? That was bonkers. Dude, there's no way I'm gonna kill this thing. There's just no chance. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here with a way bigger ship with way more guns. Because right now, there is no chance. Take the entrance through the barrel. I'll meet you inside and give you a grand tour. Stay. To the smuggler's hideout. Oh, and a trophy for it as well. Duty free. Discover the smuggler's hideout. Oh, trophy. I wasn't expecting that. Not today. Sink an enemy ship while having 5% HP or lower. How I sunk that thing? I must like set out on fire or something and it died afterwards. Ooh, trophy. Derby. In total deal 30,000 of collisions by ramming other... Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's get back to the to the mission. I think one of the trophies as well, actually, was supposed to dance with these guys. How do I dance? I dance, thank, cheer, dance. Boom. Yeah, there we go. After a long day of sailing, dance to a song performed by the musicians in St. Anne. That was an easy one. So there's another one as well that we can get, which is to greet someone. How do we do this? Greet. I think I've got to greet like someone I can talk to. The trader? Let's see if I can greet the trader. You'll be back soon. Right, so if I spoke to her, then I can do the greet, I think. Is it thank? Yeah, there we go. The mime. Uh, show your gratitude to any NPC after talking to them. Admiral Rama. Oh, trophy as well. Banished Admiral. Trophy. Metal collector harvest metal in three regions. And then take out our first pirate here. Ooh, trophy. I haven't a clue what that's for. Hitman. Sink sink a pirate here. Is that the first time I've done that? That's crazy. I saw some of the trophies as well. There's like there's a trophy for traveling a million meters or something. I'm not sure what it is. It's a million like something. And then there's also one. Uh, something you can get called like jute and we need like 10,000 of it so that's probably going to take a long ass time and there you go loot a little bit of rammy so it seems like rammy could be scattered around this area as well yeah you see there rammy so there might be a little spot there that we can harvest a little bit of it we needed yeah there we go harvest oh there's a trophy nice what's that for fiber collector harvest fiber 
Bruh. Oh, it only costs 2,800. We're fine. Yeah, so we just need the the fine Rami and finally get our new ship. All right, let's finery. Take it slow. I have nowhere else to be. Can we craft it now? Please tell me I can craft my new ship. Please. Oh my god, we can finally craft a new ship. Let's go. Give me that, please. Look how many extra slots it's got, though. Craft. This better be a freaking good ship with how much this has cost me to craft. Oh, we even let letting fireworks off. Hell yeah. Look at that freaking bad boy. Boom. The paddy wagon. Or caddy... What was it called? I don't know what it was called, but I don't think it was paddy wagon. <laughs> right, move all cargo to new ship. Yes. Boom. Go check it out. What was it called? The, the paddy wagang? Wagang? Oh, I was close. It was close. I'm just going to call it the paddy wagon. Right, so let's check out this new ship. Ooh, look at that thing. It looks like shit. <laughs> we need to customize it. it. Looks like crap. Manage ship. Let's change this bad boy up. Go. All right, we got. I'm just gonna put all the best shit on this thing, like this. This is the front. Yeah, so I think we only had three places for the other ship. This one we got five. So this is a, a huge upgrade. Ooh, so we got a middle area now as well. So we've got like. We got mortar version one. So we're going to have to upgrade this at some point because the other ship didn't even have this. So yeah, so as you can see there in the bottom right, you can see we're currently level six right now when we was only, was my other one four, I think. So yeah, massive, massive improvement. We're not even finished upgrading it yet. This is another thing that's good with the game, the customization, which you would imagine it should be good as. There we go. There's our new ship, level seven, looking absolutely beast. Edit name. I'm even gonna put the M8 on the end because why not see how these uh how all these new weapons work. So obviously we got one on the front, one on the left, one on the right. We got one on the back now as well, which we we'd never had before. Obviously the center one, but we need cannons. All right, let's give this uh new shipper a test run, shall we? Woo! Definitely got some power. I guess is this can also carry a lot more stuff as well because we was on a small ship before consider the small ship this is a medium so I'm not sure where you get the large ones from good chance that'd be like some kind of end game thing every game now especially if it's online needs some kind of end game like gameplay I guess I remember I can actually shoot from the back now as well throw fire bombs oh shit that's new They are screwed. Hell yeah. Oh, we're almost got level up as well. Yeah, let's try the, um, how do I use the mortar thing? Whatever the hell it's called. L1. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this shit. I think we timed that pretty good. Ooh, ooh, that did so much damage. Holy crap. That is... That was a good investment getting that thing. Holy shit. He's healing. What the hell, my guy? Cheating, bro. Only I'm allowed to heal. I'm the main character, bro. <laughs> right, we can scan this. Oh, I got a trophy. What's that? Home of Dominion of Rempa. Interact with Sunny. Or Spyglass it. Oh, we got a trophy. Why fight when we can negotiate? Is that for, like, leaving or something? Hide from attackers in a safe zone. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I'm not interested. I'm looking for treasure, mate. They tell me your pockets are quite deep, Captain. It'd be even deeper when I find this treasure. Oh, there you go. Treasure doesn't fit in your cargo. Say, bro, what the fuck? Bro, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell some stuff to this guy. Apparently, they are too deep. He's right after all. Got a new friend, mate. Check this guy. Got ourselves a new little uh, bird. I don't know what's going on with his neck, like, but yo, careful, bro. He might try and eat you. He's staring at you like he's about to eat your face off. Oh, off he goes. Bye. Oh, he's, he's back with his crew. Fucking hell, he's fast. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I do. I do love, uh, I love jinxing myself. I'm going to say it now, bro. Like, I'm not going to have trouble. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, that looks like a full moon to me. Oh. There we go. Full moon. Lunar effect. Stare at the full moon for 10 seconds while on land. 
Sweet. So we didn't have to be like right up in this like directly above. So there we go. I don't know what is considered a full moon then because this one feels like less of a full moon than some of the ones I've been looking at and I didn't get it. So yeah, we got it now. I don't have to look at the moon anymore. <laughs> Surprised we haven't reached 5,000 yet. The one there, 1,200. 5,000. How is it not worth 5,000 silver yet? I must be super close to 5,000, surely. Right, my outfit is definitely more than 5,000 and it hasn't unlocked, so I bet it has to be a set. Oh, rags to riches. I just needed to exit the, the wardrobe. Oh, there we go. Cool. Another one. Oh, a trophy. But have you heard of me? <laughs> okay. Reach cutthroats here. Nice. <laughs> is that a, a little... Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean uh, reference there and uh, Jack Sparrow's had, but have you heard of me? <laughs> After exploring a little bit more. Oh, another trophy. Bro, we actually are getting loads of trophies right now. Home of the Dutch Merchant Company. And then decide it was time for a little bit of cooking. Or well, I might be able to get the trophy here for cooking. Yeah, there we go. Cook. Pirates cook 15 dishes. After I'd made myself a couple of uh, food dishes, I decided to go back out into the open seas and we discovered a big ass wave. Oh God. Oh, trophy. I can see my house from here. <laughs> Crest the rogue wave. Let's go. That did a lot of damage to me, though. Holy Jesus. While typing out the previous trophy, I got another one. Wait, what? Another trophy? Open Seas Explorer. Explore all zones in the open seas. Oh, okay. I was literally just typing out the trophy I just got. And I got another one. Don't worry. I'll be right back. Oh, why is the brandy always gone? Sell your brandy. Oh, okay. I literally just came back, sat down, sold this, and boom, trophy's mine. Hell yeah. Oh, there you are. Uh, scan an object from <clears throat> a long distance, 400 meters plus. Oh, wood collector. Harvest wood in three regions. Trophy Coast of Africa Explorer. That's for exploring all of the zones. Oh, home of the Company Royal. Nice. I think that's the last one of that. Home of the Clan of Farah. The Silencer. Oh, I think that's the Flare Trophy. Yeah, destroy a Flare weak point to interrupt a ship from firing flares. I don't know why that one took me so long to get. All right, so I'm in my tiny little boat. I'm pretty sure there was a trophy. I needed to do a certain amount of damage to a tower with my spear. You can only use the spear in this this boat. So I think it was like 3,000 or 5,000 or something. Oh, should only take maybe like four or five shots. Yeah, hey, there we go. Yeah, 3,000 damage to towers using a spear call. So I need... I'm probably going to get killed here. Uh, yeah, this is going to go bad later. So I think I need two more trophies to do with using the tiny little boat. I need to hunt all of the wildlife. And I think I need to do attack 100 times with a spear on another boat. Oh, there we go. I was looking for a crocodile. Looks like I found one. That should be the Nile crocodile. So that's another animal hunted all right so next i need the madcap crocodile which should be around here somewhere oh i think i think that's the crocodile i need yep madcap crocodile that's uh go oh this one's strong Ooh, that was close. I think that thing was just about to jump on board and take us out. Kind of got lucky there. Oh, nice. Leveled up to Kingpin as well, which is the maximum rank. 
Oh, there's my next animal. This should be the alpha hippo. Luckily, I've got like the strongest spear, so I'd imagine this would be really difficult with the default like wooden crappy spear. Here we go. That was close. Two hits from that thing. It's over. We got him. All right. So Apex is inside here. I think it was the Apex crocodile. There he is. Okay, this guy's got a lot, a decent amount of health as well. Just like Roman next to me. Jesus, okay. There we go, we got him. I think I've got maybe two more. All right, so the two final wildlife I need is two crocodiles both of them are in this little patch of water so oh okay i only needed one more the poacher hunt down at least one of each hostile wildlife once you get to the end game you unlock manufacturing stuff where you got to take out ships Woo! trophy first come first served successfully capture your first manufactory red Isle Explorer, so that's all the locations in the Red Isles. Sweet, so I think I need one more now, which is the area up at the top here, the East Indies. I need two more locations over there. I then headed back out to the open seas for some combat. There we go, that's the one I was working for. Battle Royale for defeating five ships without leaving the open seas region. The open seas has most of the uh, the higher leveled ships, so this one was a little bit more difficult to do. Hey, there we go. East Indies Explorer. Explore all the zones in the East Indies suite. Yeah, this one's a little bit awkward because apparently if you visit an area and then leave an area, but you're in combat when you do, for some reason it doesn't actually count as being explored which is super odd so yeah i just kind of went through some areas and speaking of like that for example it says now hostile if you're like i say hostile at any point it won't count as an explored area all right so i only need to hit eight more spear shots i think it is for 100 total um i've died so many times doing this because you've you can only throw spears from this little like dinghy boat thing this tiny thing that i'm in so because of that you die so quick. There we go. Occupying. <laughs> Hit enemy ships with the spear 100 times. Yeah, like I was saying, you take so much damage so quickly with this. It took a while, but definitely nothing too bad. You just die. You can respawn at sea or at a close by port and just get more shots in. All right, that's one trade. I need to do two more. It's been quite hard to do this trade because most people just don't accept the trade or just... You know, whatever. So, yeah, two more. There we go. That's trade number two complete. All right, so what I'm working on now, I've got most of the trophies. You can see there, I only need four more trophies for the platinum. Um, one of them right now is still impossible, which is Hello World. We need to greet a player with Ahoy from the quick chat option in the server thing. For some reason, this thing is still turned off. So, as of right now, recording, this is still impossible, making the platinum still impossible and then for this one sharing is caring trade items with at least three players i've done two of them so i need to trade with one more player then the longest two trophies is these two what i'm working on slowly so sail a million meters i'm on 64 percent, so we're getting pretty close with that one but then this one skull and jute which we need to harvest 10 thousand pieces of jute in total i don't know what they were thinking with this trophy this one's gonna be super tedious probably gonna take a few hours of just roaming around harvesting which is so boring i don't yeah i don't know what they were thinking with this one but yeah we're uh we're almost there now for the platinum all right so still slowly working on those trophies that i mentioned it seems 
I should probably upgrade my harvesting tool to the maximum so I can get the maximum from harvesting, obviously. So if I look at this here, the sickle, I think this is what you use to harvest the stuff I need. I've got the second to best uh, version four sickle, but if I get version five of the sickle, it'll should massively speed up the harvesting process because obviously we need 10,000. So if I can increase the amount we get per harvest, that's gonna uh, yeah, massively speed it up in the long run. So yeah, if you're working on this one, make sure you come to the carpenter and fully upgrade the circle. Let's see if this guy will trade. I need that one more trade. Now let's see if he accepts. Just give him a heal, see if he takes it. Hopefully he doesn't cancel. Okay, I think he's confirming. Hey, there we go. My guy, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby, sharing. Is caring trade items with at least three players finally all right so this should hopefully be my final run of going around this uh this area that i go around i'm on 77 percent for the meters one and then 96 percent for the 10,000 pieces of jute harvested so yeah i should hopefully get that trophy during this run basically what i do if i go to the map i start here at the saint anne area it's pretty much one of the first main areas you get to so i'll start here i'll spawn there and i'll go around here and then you get a little bit here i'll work my way around here then around here to grab some from here work our way around grab the little bits that are and then i can just there's none around here but you just go down this way and then when you get inside here, there's loads in here. It shows only one marker, but there's probably actually about five bits you can harvest in here. I go around and I lead back to there. I usually do two runs, then drop off the stuff so I don't get over encumbered. And basically that's what I've been doing. Um, I thought it was gonna take a lot longer. Um, I thought it was gonna take me like four or five hours, but with this, as I mentioned earlier, this level five harvesting tool, um, I've actually probably gonna get it done in about two-ish hours. So not as bad as I thought overall. All right, here we go. I should get the trophy here. This was the area I was mentioning. There we go. Skull and jute harvest 10,000 pieces of jute in total. Yep, there he is. Attempt 502. <laughs> Let's do it. I feel like this is, if I was ever going to kill him, I feel like it's now we're in co-op. <laughs> he is a bully. <laughs> Ooh. Right, at least now he's got to worry about two targets. So we, this might actually work out. Here he comes. Right, I'm gonna... oh, I'll totally miss with that. <laughs> Alright, I'm firing more missiles. I missed again. Ooh. Where's he gone? There he is. <laughs> we almost did head on a collision. Oh, bro, we're actually doing this. This is the... Ooh, that looked nasty. Oh, he's coming after you, bro. Ooh. I'll throw a heal at you. We might get him. I think this is it. Hell yeah, bro. There we go. Finally, the beast has been slain. Eliminated. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know if that was lag or what, but that was weird. It's like my boat was suddenly on ice. Oh, there's my trophy as well. Let's go. Boom. One million meters traveled. Hell yeah, bro. One more trophy now, which I can't get. Yeah, so right now there's one more trophy I need, but it's not actually possible, which is the voice chat one. This one, hello world. You need to just greet players with ahoy from the quick chat, but it's still disabled right now. All right, so here we are. We're back in the game it is now the 27th and season one has begun. We've got the smugglers network, which he is part of the new smugglers pass, which is just basically a season pass. You can see that it's going to be active for 90 days you get the usual battle pass stuff rewards there's 90 rewards on there all together and then you get an extra two for completion so all that good stuff but what we're really here for is to see if we can finally get the platinum and unfortunately the answer seems to be no really chat service is currently unavailable so we still 
as of the 27th of Feb, season one has begun. I still can't put anything in the chat to unlock the trophy and the platinum. All right, here we are. I'm finally back in Skull and Bones. The platinum is finally now achievable. It's actually been achievable now for over a week, I think, but I've just been playing so much Final Fantasy Rebirth that I just haven't had time to come back and, and play this, but I needed one more trophy, which was to say hello in the chat, which as you can see, it's now available. I don't know if I have to just say hello or if I have to say something. I'm just gonna say ahoy because I mean, we're pirates, do you know what I mean? And uh, I guess we'll see if we get the trophy. But, uh, I didn't get the trophies for saying ahoy. So maybe I've actually got to say like, hello. Greet players with, um, oh no, it does actually say ahoy. Hello world, greet players with ahoy from the quick chat option in a server chat room. In a server chat room, what does that even mean? How do I do that then? Do I have to be in a certain location? Oh, quick chat, is it in this? I say ahoy in here. Hey, there, yeah, there we go. Hello world, there it is, 100%. And the platinum as well, pirate legend unlock all trophies this one was um it's been a while since i played so my memory is a little bit foggy a little bit hazy on this one but yeah I, from what i remember it just wasn't that fun there's so many missed opportunities in this game it's it's kind of ridiculous how how much better this game should have been and could have been but yeah there's the platinum thank you all so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i've been mr leaning this has been skull and bones Take care of yourselves, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you all on the next video.